if you don't change, change will change you. It has to change and they know how to deal with it. Process. Process will not so my name is uh, Dr. Oscar Koech from the University of Nairobi, Department of Plant Resource Management and Agricultural Technology. And we are here in uh, Samburu County, Lairata uh, village. Uh, we are working with the communities here to uh, address a challenge that has been uh, there for the communities and for many of the other dryland areas. We are working with communities to address a challenge of uh, this invasive species and uh, what we have seen from other parts of the world is very difficult to eradicate, eradicate uh, Prosopis juliflora. Uh, but what we know is that uh, this is a tree with other, many other benefits, uh, dual purposes, uh, uses uh, in terms of uh, uh, products for people, the communities. Uh, the native areas where this plant, plant came from, like Mexico for example, this is one of their main plants that they grow for both human food and animal feeds. And uh, we are saying that uh, how do we bring these technologies, experiences and practices back here to Kenya to address the challenges of the communities. So we are coming here with the technologies as a university to train the communities on how to utilize this plant as animal feed uh, because the plant is actually of very high quality in terms of minerals and nutrients, uh, crude proteins, uh, that can actually replace uh, uh, soybean uh, as an ingredient in feed processing 100%. That means that we reduce the human uh, animal uh, competition for feed resources. The uh, uh, prosopis pod is actually uh, a legume plant with very high crude protein. Uh, scientifically, analysis have shown uh, between 18 to 24 uh, crude protein levels, which is actually higher than many other uh, legume sources that we use for animal feeds and even human foods here yeah, processing. Uh, the plant has many other environmental benefits. First one is uh, issues of uh, land degradation uh, control uh, because it actually stabilizes the soils, uh, controls erosion, but also the plant is actually a source of energy for communities. So we are looking at how we bring also technologies to process high quality uh, uh, energy from this particular tree in a sustainable way, uh, making briquettes that can fetch higher value and uh, of course incomes for the communities and as another way of managing this plant in terms of spread and, 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 and of course invasion. Livestock, especially in the arid and semi-arid lands, depend on the pasture land. What we've seen is that uh, the pasture lands are getting degraded by invasive species like uh, Prosopis, Juliflora, and others like uh, uh, recipients, uh, Acacia recipients. So when we uh, support the communities, we realize that the communities rely so much on the pasture land, which is actually the environment. And uh, VSF Swiss promotes what we call the One Health approach, which looks at the environment and looks at the human health, uh, the animal health, which of course forms the basis then for the human health. Now, if the environment is not healthy, then the animals or the food that we eat is not going to be healthy. And that's where we focus largely on how we can be able to improve the health of the environment. It's, the ecosystem is well balanced to be able to produce enough food which can support the animals to be healthy and therefore to have uh, uh, enough food for, 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 for the communities who live in these areas. So when we find invasive species, what they do is that they suppress the pasture, the pasture which supports the communities. So when we interact with the communities, especially here in uh, Isiolo and Samburu, where we work, what has come out is that uh, the uh, Prosopis juliflora is quite a challenge, where previously, especially along the Ewaso uh, ecosystem, this plant has been uh, eating away, let me use, or encroaching to the pasture land, and that has really affected the livelihoods of these communities. The communities view this plant as a menace. Uh, what we've realized is that uh, it is not very easy to control this tree, but it also has advantages. They complain a lot of how much it has encroached, and in the process of encroaching, of course, it has affected their livelihood. And then we has also made other predators to come closer. In some cases, they have even pushed away the communities from where they were living to start to acquire uh, or to move to other areas for settlement. Then what in the environment also what we've seen is that uh, it has encouraged uh, proliferation of uh, vectors. These vectors like mosquitoes and sandflies which also are, are <coughs> helping transmitting disease. Kwa majina naitwa Martina Lananyangera kutoka area la Rata Samburu County. Kenye nimeshika hapa ni feed block ya mazenge. Nimeshanganywa na nyasi. Tumeisiaga ikakuwa unga ndo 
tukaongezea nyasi tukisiaga kwa mashini ile tumepewa na kamboni ya fese kupatia ngufu feed block yetu hii tunalisha naye mifugo wakati ya jilali na hasa saa hii wakati kuna nyasi mingi tuko na nyasi unapatia jioni ipate kusaidia maana ya kuongezea nyasi ni iwe pro office spot iko na sukari mingi kiongeza nyasi na kuwa muswagi kwa meno kwa hivyo haitabaki mabaki mabaki ya pro office ile iko na sukari mingi kwa meno ya ngombe au mambusi yako hiyo nyasi itasaidia kusugua meno ya nyama yako hapo awali tulikuwa tunaona miti ya madenge ikiwa miti mbaya kwa sababu ya vile ina, ina spread kwa uraisi wanyama wakikula polisi yake ina, inaenea kwa ile haraka sana na in, inakaa bushi inafunga njia hasa mahali ya maji inafunga hiyo ile inakuwa ngumu kuingia makotoka kitu ikiingia ndani inakuliwa tu na wanyama huko kutoka inakuwa shida na kwa saa hii vile tumepata mafunzo kwa kampuni ya VSF madenge ikiwa na hasara yake iko na faida kwa wingi Miti ya madenge iko na hizo port na hizo port tukisiaka tunalisha naye mfuko ikiwa chakula. Miti ya madenge pia iko na post ya kutengeneza nyumba na inakaa strong kuliko miti zingine. Miti ya madenge pia tunatumia kutoa na ya makaa. Hiyo makaa briquettes tunauza na tuna inainua lifestyle ya watu. Name is Isaiah Puri, chief officer for livestock production and veterinary services is your account. Uh, I'm privileged to be part of this team that uh, undertook training, a three-day training on holistic and sustainable management of uh, Prosophis juliflora. As you can see from my background, this is the tree that is commonly known as Madenge, the Prosophis juliflora. There are many other species uh, like acacia reficiens and also uh, ipomea. The three species form, are, are part of uh, the native trees and also vegetation in our ecosystem. And today we were demonstrating on how best uh, we can uh, transform lives and also uh, add value to uh, Prosophis juliflora. Uh, I also wanted to mention that in Isiolo County, three sub-counties are affected by Prosophis juliflora, that is Oldoniro, Merti, and Ngaremara. Uh, in those areas, uh, especially, we visited uh, Cherub, whereby there is a, a wide growth and spread of uh, Prosophis juliflora, and there is a team of researchers from the University of Nairobi uh, through the support of uh, VSF, the Inopla project, and also BioVision, together with our support from the county government of Isiolo and Samburu uh, County. We want to find the ways through which we can uh, change the perception of the communities towards uh, this uh, invasive uh, towards this species of tree uh, because it is not only in Isiolo or in Kenya that these invasives are found, but they are dated back in so many other countries where uh, they, are, they found ways of managing it. We, are having, we, we, we have a rangeland uh, management bill that we are coming up with in Isiolo County, and this one, together with other policies, uh, will help now us to manage uh, these species in our ecosystem and many other species that may emerge in the future uh, because through public participation uh, the communities raised their views that we collectively uh, brought together to form the bills that we anticipate that it will go through the county assembly for us to have an act and regulations of our uh, uh, all the species available in, in, uh, in our ecosystem. And through this research uh, that is being carried out by the University of Nairobi together with the Siolo County 
and partners. It will uh, help us now find, devise new ways of managing uh, Prosophis juliflora. And it, will, it may also advise us on the future engagement towards uh, finding solutions and also uh, development of new policies and also regulations uh, to govern and also manage uh, these invasives in our ecosystem. So my name is Sabina Islan from Samburi County Government. I have been one of the participants in this three days training where we are learning on the utilization of prosopis. Uh, initially we thought prosopis is a very, very bad uh, tree, but uh, uh, as we have gone through the training, we have learned of more importance than the benefits than the, the negatives, uh, uh, the negative part of the uh, prosopis. Uh, also, we have witnessed some groups in Ilerata who have been trained initially on the uses of prosopis and uh, we have seen many products, we have also made it today many products from prosopis and it's a beneficial tree. If well utilized, it can benefit the community uh, as well as uh, probably uh, we, help the, we help the environment, we, we are eliminating it from the environment. So prosopis, uh, yes it's an invasive species but it can also be a beneficial resource to the community, if well managed, yes. Now, with all these problems that uh, the community are narrating, then we have to sit down with them and find a solution. Sometimes the solution mm -hmm. is within, but people need to sit down and discuss all the stakeholders, because one health is multi-sectoral. So what we've done is to bring in the, uh, the, 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 the research institutions, the academic institutions, like the University of Nairobi, who have sat down with us and we found that they have technologies that can be able to use this plant in such a way that it's beneficial. Because again, eliminating it entirely, then it will predispose uh, the environment to other dangers like soil erosion. And uh, we also need to have plants which are helping in uh, carbon sequestration. So we have to strike a balance. And to strike a balance, then we have not to eliminate it entirely, but to find economical ways that are sustainably um, are, are sustainably viable to be able to control it. And that's why the prom uh, we are promoting what we call economic utilization through feed pro uh, production and also through um, environmentally friendly uh, energy, which they call precates. Now, with the processing of uh, feeds, this is where they use the seed pod to crush it because this plant usually spreads by animals feeding on it and walking around wherever they drop the seed, it sprouts up. Now, if you go forward and crush this seed, then make a feed for the animal, you'll have addressed supplementation of a feed, uh, of, of animal feed, which is quite a challenge to livestock producers, while at the same time you are helping in capping the spread of the, of the, of the plant. And when we look at uh, the production of uh, energy, which is through uh, production of car, um, briquettes, then what you are making use of one is the waste that comes from, from charcoal, uh, whereby the waste is ground, basically could have been thrown away, and then it's re recycled and made into high quality products, which they call briquettes, which are very energy intensive and very good. Again, uh, as, I, as we mentioned, they do not release a lot of carbon or a lot of smoke into the environment and therefore they help in keeping the environment clean.